Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, Expressionist Fluid Art Studio with yesterday's pan of colors that we're going to reveal now from video 9267 and they did not stay very crisp but they are plenty viable so I think I'm going to use the 14 by 14 inch canvas that I pre-primed but first I'm going to add some colors. I've got a few scoops and I can still shovel, we'll see what happens I'm going to just list the colors from yesterday underneath the video and in the meantime I'm going to use whatever comes to mind starting with some more Fandango, Prism Pour, and oh this is frozen I thought it was Cerulean Blue. I'm being called a Jasmine I'm trying to trying to restrain, my, restrain myself but it's not working very well. This is um, Chantilly Lace. I just fixed up a new batch. I hope it's good. This is Fluorescent Red Violet uh, that's um, a Vivid Intense and it's also got gold and diamonds in it and it's mixed with Vivid Polypore in this case. I think I'm either going to bring in some Royal Sapphire. Actually, I'm liking the Snapdragon that I see in there that's down here that's the purpley color, so I'm going to put some more of that in there. And maybe some more Fandango since there isn't much there actually. Although, I wanted to add some of this Fairy Tales Primary Elements Burmese red, which I continue to call Burmese ruby, but I actually managed to fix it. Let's try a little bit of the... I'm going to try the cerulean blue. And then I'll put some of the royal sapphire in if I want. I can tell you now I'm going to be putting a whole lot more of the red violet in. So the base layer being nice and wet means that it doesn't really matter what's in the base layer at all because pretty much everything I add will cover that up. I wonder if I've got, oh you know what I do have, I have Pebio Iridescent Blue Green if it's open, which I love. Yeah, feels like it's time to unplug my tip. Sometimes you have to take them off and ream them out. There we go. I got quite a bit of it out. What do I want in there? I've got some Fairy Tales Magic Slippers that I haven't shaken that I should shake. And I'm going to use without the top because I don't want to fight with it right now. That goes really nicely with that red violet. Still want more of the Fandango though. I actually have some triple sec. But I'm going to have to call it soon. I am going to indulge myself in a little bit of Orange Crush. I could be sorry. No, I don't think I will be. I might leave that out. I might want some more. Put the Cerulean Blue away. Give it just one little tiny bit of the Royal Sapphire. Okay, three little tiny bits. But who's counting? I didn't put any gold in there and I kind of want some. And I like this Indian Spice, if that's what it is. I believe that that's what it is. It seems to have lost its label. want some more orange now. See how I am? Just never satisfied. I'm having too much fun with my paint dish. Looks like Miro. Let's, I put my scrape dish down here. Let's put that, hopefully that's going to be an easy to use place. 
And I've got my the colors I want to have standing by the Chantilly lace and the red violet. I didn't put any of this triple sec in, which I believe is a primary element. So I'm going to just That's actually pretty cool. It's a little obnoxious, but it's cool. I like obnoxious things. Let's put these back where they will be out of my way for the most part and grab a shovel. Maybe I will start with... I want to bring this up. What can I put that on? I could put it on my, my, my rag dish. Let's see what happens. Whoop, wow, right over the side. Never had that happen before. Okay. Uh, it occurs to me I can't turn my turntable if I'm going to do that. But I wish I could. That's not a bad first mark. It makes me want some Chantilly lace. It makes me want to level out my station, which has now got such an, an amount of paint on it that it makes it really difficult. And I'm just going to grab a shovel and try and scrape off the bottom. Looks like I'm not going to get a whole big array of different colors. It looks like it's all the same combinations. you got to be patient while paint decides to leave whatever container you're applying it with in order to do this. I never know what I'm going to get. This is just a folded piece of, it's a, a scored folded piece of, um, I think it was started out as a cutting board from like the Dollar Tree. Somebody brought me this heavy duty plastic. I think I could have picked a better container. Looks like a wolf. Come on, relax out of my container. So I want to use different tools, but I've got so much paint in my in my shovel that I want to use it. Really, if you have more space to work, I'm jealous of you. Sorry, that just slipped out. Let's put some leaf shapes in. Actually, let's just dip my shovel. I like to dot too. I can just dip my dip my shovel corner in.
That was not intentional, but I will work with it. It happens. Just picking and choosing my colors. And you can also make adjustments with a skewer. I might have to do a swipe with the rest of it and see what happens. I kind of want some more gold. I like the idea of the silver. I also like the orange as an accent color a lot. There isn't a lot in there. That doesn't mean I can't add some more. why I'm adding more. I just feel like I can. That's sort of like my book. Because I can! <laughs> right next to my second book called Unlimited Possibilities. They're on my Amazon link and <laughs> under Show More. So there's a lot of blue in there, but I'm liking it anyway. I'm going to try and put it back over where it belongs. And I'm going to see if I've got a larger canvas. I found some gold! Yay! I do like that Pebeo blue-violet, excuse me, iridescent blue-green. I have blue-violet also, so... I'm almost done with this, except for the potential for dots, which is a big potential right now. But I think if I'm smart, I'll, I'll grab a skewer. I've got some of that Red violet. I'm just not sure where it's going to go. Well, that's pretty cool. I still have a lot of paint left, that silly me. So I'm going to use one of my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and see what I can do. Just going to pick up that paint that got lost. What else can I do? dribbled. Just making textures. quiet because I'm focused. It's going to be surreal for sure. Not that there was ever any doubt in that regard. I'm going to put that shovel in the bucket and grab a skewer. Wish it had a nice paintball on the end. Yes, I have one. 
And I think it's time to put some more orange. Actually, I think I'm going to put some saffron. Right in here. Good to start with the largest dot and move away from that dot. I'm going to grab some of the other stuff. I've got three minutes and I'm probably going to just be dotty. Grab some of that Burmese ruby, which is not looking much like Burmese ruby at the moment because it's mixed with all kinds of other things. But it's funny, even if the piece feels unfinished as you dot, it begins to change. Especially the graduated stuff. If you get them too close together, they're going to meld. So beware. I've got some of this triple sec color I haven't used anywhere. some pink. If you leave enough black spaces in between you have room for however many dots you want to get try and get away with. When that timer goes off I should have told you a few things like I have 30 playlists <laughs> of uh, tutorials and if you'd like to help me out just ask me for a playlist and watch away. They're also organized by topic and genre, so if you ask me for something, I can get it for you because I have saved all of the links, and it's a lot easier for me than it is for you, because if you want to find them, you have to go to playlists, all playlists, created playlists, where's that going? That's not going anywhere. I'm almost, I might just leave it with less is more. Although I've got this beautiful turquoise. The Pevio iridescent. something else over here. So I'm just going to cover those up. All right, so I'm going to hit that really quickly with a torch and see if I can resist adding any more spirals. Although if I added a spiral that might make me happy. I love how far the paint actually goes. There, that's kind of cool. It's a little understated for some of mine, but um, let me give you a shimmer. And I will be torching, like I said, to get rid of the bubbles. It's pretty simple. I think I'm going to do a swipe with the res residuals in the dish. Just put them down and see what happens. It looks pretty good from up here. The negative space worked out quite nicely. So I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 10.15 a.m. Please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Know I love you. My paint pouring recipes below show more. My email address is EASPB and the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. 